Wow, a crazy moth with beautiful tufts of hair. The shape is quite unusual. So what is it? Well, its scientific name is Xoxetra grata. And during my work as an entomologist in Regua in Brazil, this was perhaps one of the most common species of moths that I encountered. I saw them dozens of times during some nights. Interestingly, it is hard for me to find any additional information about their life cycle. Can you believe one of the most common moth species of Brazil has a life cycle that is barely known? That's just crazy. This is why we need to invest in entomology and researching insects people they are important. This is Bart Coppens and welcome to my daily bug highlight in the rainforest from Brazil. Brazil. Let's get started. This is Bert Coppens and welcome to my bug highlight. Huh, such a hairy moth. May I introduce you to Xoxetra grata? Interestingly, it's classified as a nocturidae moth. Not only do the tufts of hair keep them warm, they also make it difficult for predators of their own size to attack them. The tufts of air also seem to sense vibrations in the air, alerting them to any potential dangers or changes in airflow. The moths have a proboscis and likely feed, probably on sugary substances. Reportedly, this species of moth is found from Costa Rica to Peru. And in these places they are found at cloud forest, to lower elevation dry forest, at elevations of 400, to 1800 meters. Interestingly, during my time in Regua, I did manage to find a pre-pupil caterpillar that later pupated into an adult Soxetra grata. Unfortunately, I was not able to record a house plant because the larva was wandering around for us looking for a place to pupate. If I was able to find the caterpillars on the vegetation, then who knows? Then I may have been close to the first actual house part plant record of this insect. Unfortunately, I did not stay long enough to, in Brazil to complete the life cycles of insects and breed them. Maybe next time. Despite being one of the most common moths in Regua in Brazil, they never stopped fascinating me. Hairy moths are not unusual to me, but the way they have frills on the base of their hind wings is just totally unusual to me. I struggle a little bit to educate people about them because there is so little information about them. So let the edu educational lesson of the day be as follows. There's a lot of moths, butterflies and other insects in the rainforest we really don't know much about that warrant more studies. And this, my friends, is why we need to invest in entomology and channels like mine, I suppose, even if I say so myself. I for one am happy to include this insect in my documentation project. Fantastic! See you in the next video!